Good day. Welcome to Wednesday, March 3rd, 2021. Um, today, I, this morning, I saw a story, I think it was on last night's CBS News, a story about um, a teacher having her students, I think they were like, I don't know, third and fourth graders maybe? I may be long on that. But, but anyhow, she encouraged them to be pen pals to people in a nursing home. Pen pals. I never really was caught up into that. Um, I think it's mainly because school teachers never really got us into it. But I had um, some, when I was going, growing up and going to school, there were some kids that had had pen pals. And I don't know, maybe it was their parents that got them into it. And they had pen pals for, from people um, in Europe and stuff like that. And so getting to know each other and stuff. But anyhow, this teacher wanted her students to be pen pals with nursing home residents. And you know the positive statements, the kids, kids are so positive. We, we, I just appreciate them so much. And they try to put a positive lilt on things. And then they say about the people that, they're, that are able to write back to them, just teach them, tell, tell them some different things that they never thought of before or, and, and build them up. And I know that cross-generational way of doing writing and pen palling can be so helpful and useful. So if you're, if you're having a downtime, think of a young person, maybe a neighbor, maybe just calling the school and see if there's any children that would like a pen pal. And start out that way, and maybe there can be more and more. That is, if you, <laughs> you're going to have to like to write a lot too, aren't you? And I know that um, it just saying it kind of gets us both maybe out of our zones a little bit, but also can be very helpful to us as we continue on in pandemic. And I know one of my um, John. Paulson at Westington Springs in his newsletter, he starts out with this way. Is there a word for when something feels like it was just yesterday and also a lifetime ago at the same time? And he's, uh, that was posted on Facebook. He said, in one response, pandemicitis. And we're so caught up in pandemicitis, aren't we? <laughs> That's a good phrase for what this year has been for us and then to try to get us beyond this. And hopefully, and of course, many of you probably saw that Dolly Parton had given a million dollars to a place where Moderna vaccine was being researched and stuff. And then she got her shot yesterday and did a vaccine version of her song, Jolene. So encouraging us to go out and get it. But trying to build up one another, trying to help one another. And the idea of pen pals, I guess is why I entitled this pen pals, is that that can be a helpful thing. And our, our, um, a major pen pal in the Bible is the Apostle Paul. All of the books that, that they're sure that he has written and even the ones that, that they think he maybe wrote always start out by saying who he is and then when he starts, his, when he starts writing to the people, it's grace to you in peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And you will know that I begin my sermons and many pastors begin their sermons that way knowing that the goodness of God is always rested upon us. And it's not saying that you can't say that at the beginning of your pen pal um, writing, too. And, of course, it depends on who you're writing to. Some people, we know that they're not just not into that, but, but tell them that you're wanting good things to happen to them and to be there for them in positive directions. And so just another idea, another thought. I know I've talked about sending cards to people, and sometimes if you know somebody's really down, maybe being that pen pal and encouraging them to send you a, a card or, or a, just a note on a piece of paper and stick it in an envelope. 
and hopefully they can have the 55 cents to pay the postage, right? The forever stamp or whatever. And that can be another thing you can do if you know that they don't have stamps. That's, a, that's really a nice gift, isn't it? Because I know we have to go someplace to get the stamps or get on our computer and get the stamps, but some people can't. And that can help them to be a pen pal too. So with that, I'm leaving that before us tonight. We're having our um, third midweek Lenten service and, and Molly Perry and Kira Wallenstein are willing to, are willing confirmation students to help us. And it would be great to send them a little note too because they are, they are um, the students we have right now. And so we we'll want to build them up as much as we can too. With that, let us pray. Lord our God, we thank you for this new day. We thank you for all the ways in which you work with us through this time of pandemic. We pray that you will help lead and guide us to be who you need us to be for other people. We pray that you will give us your insight and wisdom to help us along the way to do the best we can for one another and maybe be a pen pal or some other kind of helper to those who are, we know are having a really struggling through this time. And help us to have new thoughts on what we can do for ourselves, to help ourselves along the way with your presence, and to help those within our realm, within our reach. Lord, again, we lift up the medical teams that are working for us, helping us to get the vaccines in our arms, and helping us to deal with the illnesses we may come across. We pray that you be with all of our governmental leaders, Help them to realize the uplifting, positive things that they can do for us who elected them. And we pray that you will give them your insight and wisdom and a willing listening to one another instead of putting up the walls to divide and be hurtful and mean to each other, thus doing the same thing to all of us who elected them. Lord, now all these things and anything else you see we need, please grant us through your Son who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Again, God's grace, hope, love, and peace rest upon you.